Hi, and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this school timetable in Word. So let's open a new document and we're just going to change the page orientation. So go up to layout, go to orientation, click on the drop down and just press landscape. Let's just zoom in. And the first thing we're going to do is just create a rectangle. So insert, shapes, go to the square and then click and drag out a rectangle, roughly about that big. Now when your shape is inserted, it will come with a darker border and a blue fill color. So we need to get rid of the border and change the color of the fill layer. So make sure you're on shape format. If you're not, if this doesn't appear, it's because you haven't selected the shape. Go to shape format, go to shape outline, click on the drop down and select no outline. Then go to shape fill, click on the drop down. You can select from a number of different colors here. I've got some recent colors here I've selected, but if you don't find the color of your choice, go to more fill colors. You've got your color wheel here. You can move this little cursor around your color wheel and you can also move this cursor left and right for lightness and darkness and your chosen color will appear in this box here and then just click OK. So I'm just going to go up and click from my recent colors and then what I'm going to do is to fully customize this area first and then all we'll need to do is copy and paste it. So I'm going to go back up to insert, shapes, click on the drop down and we're going to select this rounded rectangle here and then just click and drag out a rectangle roughly about that big. And then again on shape format, we're going to get rid of the outline and then the shape fill, we're just going to go to white. And now all we're going to do is copy and paste this box here. Now you can use command or control C followed by command or control V. Or if you select this shape, hold down your alt or option key and just click and drag out another rectangle. So I think we did six before. So I'm just going to reduce the size of this rectangle a little bit. And then I'm just going to pull this one down. You don't have to be too accurate because we will line them up. Now we're just going to select all of these rectangles by holding down your command or control key. Go to shape format, go along to align, click on the drop down and go down to distribute vertically. That will mean now that they're all equally distributed with equal gaps between them. Go back up to align, click on the drop down and select align to center. And that will mean they're all perfectly aligned to the center. Once they're all aligned, you can group them together. So go up here to group, click on the drop down and select group. And now they're all one complete group. Now we just need to line them up with the rectangle. So if we select the group, hold down your, your command or control key, select the rectangle, the orange rectangle, go back up to align, click on the drop down and select align to center. And now those boxes are perfectly in line, the center of this orange rectangle. Next, we're going to insert the day of the week. So insert word art. I'm just gonna select this one here. Just going to type in mun for Monday. And now I'm going to go to the home tab and then I can either select all of my text or click off, just click back on with no cursor inside and it will now automatically make your changes. So I'm now going to go down and select this font here, Amatic SC. I'm going to click bold and I want it to be white. So click on the font color. I'm going to go to white just going to increase that to 48, bring that down. And then once again, I'm going to make sure that this is in the middle of this orange rectangle. So I'm going to select this, hold down my command or control key and select the orange rectangle, go to shape format, go along to align, click on the drop down and click align to center. And now it's moved that over. Once you're completely happy with this, then we can select the white boxes, the group, 
hold down your command or control key, select MUN or the day of the week, and then select the orange rectangle behind. Go to group, click on the drop down and select group. And now you have this as one complete rectangle and all its customizations. So now all we need to do is to copy and paste it. So I'm going to select it, hold down my Alt key, click and drag until I've got five for the days of the week. And now before I go ahead and customize all of these, I'm just going to align them all. So once again, hold down your command or control key and click on each of these rectangles, go up to align. I'm going to distribute them equally first, so distribute horizontally. Then I'm going to align to top. And then I'm just going to group them together quickly so that I can align everything, go to align, align everything to the center. So now you have all of your boxes all centered to your page. So I'm now going to ungroup them so I can now customize each one. So go to group, ungroup. And now I have to ungroup each one of these to ensure that I can change the color of the background and also change the day of the week. So click on it, shape format, group, ungroup. Just if it selects everything together, click away and click back on it because I've noticed I've now ungrouped all of these, which I didn't want to do. In fact, I've grouped everything here as well. So just click away, make sure nothing's selected, then go to your selections and group. There we go. So I'm going to, first of all, change the lettering here. So select your text box, double click inside and just change the lettering. Now, as you can see, this one's not quite centered and some of them may also not be quite centered either. So what we're going to do is just select the word, hit the Alt or op sorry, hit the command and control key, select the orange box, go to align, align to center. Just make sure everything's perfectly aligned. We'll just do that. Don't need to do that to that one because we know that's aligned. So now you're just going to change the color. So I'm just going to select the orange box, go to shape fill and select the next color. Now we're just going to put in the lines behind for a little bit of decoration. I'm going to insert shapes, click on the drop down and select the square. And then I'm just going to click and drag out a small rectangle or very narrow rectangle. So I'm just going to place it on top of the first rectangle like that. Make sure it stretches out across the page. And once again, because my shape has a border and a fill color, I'm going to select it. Go to shape outline and select no outline. And then whilst we're up here, this shape color is already there. So I'm just going to click that as well. Now you can see it's in front, but don't worry, we're going to come to that in a minute. I'm going to select it, hold down my Alt or Option key. And once again, click and drag out another one and then click and drag out two more. I only want one now, so I'm going to click off, click back on one of them, hold the Alt or Option key down and click and drag another one. Now I've done that, I'm just going to simply just select them all by holding down my command or control key and clicking on each one. Again, I'm going to go to align, distribute vertically. So they're now all equally distributed. And now I'm going to align them all to the right. And then the next thing for me to do is to go along and just change the colors. So click on the next one doesn't matter which order you do them in, it really is up to you. Once you've done that, I'm going to select them all again. Go to group, click on the drop down and select group. And now all I'm going to do is along to this send backwards icon, click on the drop down and select send to back. And there you can see they've all been sent behind the actual timetable. The final thing to do is just to add the title, go to insert, word art, and this time we're going to go to this one and we'll put in school timetable. And then I'm just going to click off and click back on so it customizes everything without me highlighting it. Go to the home tab 
and I'm going to change the font. I think this one was chalkboard. That's right. And now to customize this text, double click on it or click on it, go to shape format and go along to styles pane here. And this menu here will appear. Will appear. You've got shape options here and you've got text options here. Make sure that you're on text options and then come to this first A here. You've got text fill, which is your fill color, which as you can see is orange and your text outline, which is a darker orange. So the first thing is we're just going to change the fill color. So click on the drop down and we're going to change it to this color here. And then the borderline around the text, I'm going to change to black. And then again, you can change this to whatever you like. I'm just going to change this to 0.5, press enter. There we go. And then all we're going to do is to center it and increase the font size. So once I've selected it, again, over to the home tab, I'm going to hit this increase font size tool here until I'm happy with the font size. And then go along to shape format, along to align, click on the drop down and select align to center. And then I can just use my arrow keys to move everything up and down as I see fit. Perfect. Now you can go ahead and print this off if you want to, but if you do want to enter in the text yourself, then obviously you can just go to insert text box, click on the drop down, select draw text box. You can click and drag out the text box and then you can type whatever you want to in here and then move it around to wherever you want it. Then once you click away, you can see there's an outline. If you don't want the outline, select the box. Again, go to shape outline and just select no outline. And then you can infill these as you see fit. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.